Hello and welcome to Bullwall TV. What in Bullwall links Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon, with disgraced children's entertainer Rolf Harris? Well today, we're going to find out. At the end of the 1960s, the owners of Hemshill Hall, having already sold off land for the A610 and the spoil heap at Babington Colliery, also sold off 30 acres to Wimpy Homes. This led to the development of what is now known as the Hemshill Vale Estate. This sale took place at the height of the Apollo moon landings, and it was this that prompted the streets on the estate to be named after the men with the right stuff who took part in these missions. Despite the amazing level of publicity over the moon landings, the Hemshill Vale estate became the only housing estate in the country who had streets named after the astronauts. Once completed, however, the estate was left with no services whatsoever. Shops and bus services didn't exist, and it was either a walk down to Bullwool or to a small co-op at Nuttall, which is now a play centre, that parents were able to shop for their new families. It may be for this reason that some of the early residents believe themselves to be in Nuttall rather than Bullwall. In a few years time it will be 50 years since Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon and work on the housing estate began. So it's worthwhile just spending a few minutes talking about the streets and who they are named after. Apollo 7 Launch date 11th October 1968. Astronauts Walter Schirrer, name not used. Don Eisel, made Eisel close. Walter Cunningham, name not used. Apollo 8, launch date 21st December 1968. Astronauts Frank Borman, made Borman close. Jim Lovell, made Lovell close. And Bill Anders, Made Anders Drive. Fourteen hundred feet, still looking very good. Roger, 12, Apollo 12. 9, launch date 3rd of March 1969. Astronauts, James McDivitt, name not used. David Scott, became Scott Close. Rusty Schwickart, name not used. Feet, Apollo 10, launch date 18th of May 1969. Astronauts Tom Stafford became Stafford Court. John Young became Young Close. And Eugene Cernan became Cernan Court. Apollo 11, the moon landing itself. Launch date 16th of July 1969. Astronauts Neil Armstrong became Armstrong Road. Buzz Aldrin became Aldrin Close, and Michael Collins became Collins Close. Apollo 12, launch date 14th of November 1969. Astronauts Pete Conrad, name not used. Alan Bean became Bean Close, and Dick Gordon, name not used. Apollo 13. The one everybody remembers. Launch date 11th of April 1970. Astronauts Jim Lovell became Lovell Close. Jack Swigert became Swigert Close. And Fred Hayes became Hayes Court. Apollo 14, launch date 31st of January 1971. Astronauts Alan Shepard became Shepard Close. Edgar Mitchell became Mitchell Close, and Stu Ruser became Ruser Close. Apollo 15, launch date 26th of July 1971. Astronauts David Scott became Scott Close, James Irwin became Irwin Drive, and Al Warden, name not used. 
60 seconds. Lights on. Apollo 16, launch date 16th of April 1972. Astronauts John Young became Young Close, Charles Duke became Duke Close, and Ken Mattingly became Mattingly Road. Apollo 17, launch date 7th of December 1972. Astronauts Eugene Cernan became Cernan Court, Harrison Schmidt and Ron Evans Names not used. Okay, engine stop. APA had a descent. And then the odd one out. Gordon Cooper became Cooper Close. Gordon Cooper was a pilot on the Mercury and Gemini missions and was a backup commander on Apollo 10. But he never took actual part in the Apollo landings themselves. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. The Hemshill Hall Primary School opened on February 26, 1973, with 58 pupils aged 5 to 11. One class of infants, which included me, aged 5, and one class of juniors, with one head teacher, Marcia Wordsworth, later that year to become Marcia Pucky, one teacher, a secretary, and a caretaker. Deputy Head Mr Ward, along with teachers such as Miss Legg, later Mrs Grimson, and Miss Blackwell, took charge of the first few pupils in the school. Other teachers such as Mr Armitage, Mr Brown, Miss Bagley, later Mrs Ridge, Mr Harrison and Miss Fisher soon followed, and of course, not forgetting Mrs French on the piano. In 2006, after 32 years at the school, Mrs Pucky retired and was awarded an OBE for services to education. Although, to be honest, it was such a long time ago I can't remember much about her, apart from the fact she scared the willies out of me. In 1979, the school was invited to take part in the television show Rolf on Saturday OK, starring Rolf Harris. Described as one of the most memorable occasions for the school, even a young Mrs Ridge took part, having her watch smashed and magically repaired by bumbling magician Clive Webb. During the show, Rolf painted a large picture of the Fijian girl while the pupils watched on. The picture hung proudly in the school, although I never saw it again, until just after the school's 40th anniversary celebrations, when Rolf's arrest under Operation Yew Tree came to light. The picture, previously valued at £2,000, was quickly sold for just 300 as the school tried to distance itself from the disgraced star. Thanks to Justin Heaviness, for recording the show and putting it on YouTube at the link provided below for all to watch. For those of you who have ever said, Paul, would you come out from behind the camera? All I can say is watch the footage and you'll see me on there, age 10. A quick message for those of you who subscribe to Bubble Photos Facebook group. There's no photos on there at all of anything to do with Hemshill Vale or Hemshill Hall School. If you've got any photos from those early days, please feel free to drop them in, whether it's pictures of the estate being built, or early days with Mr Brown, Mrs Pucky and everybody else. And that's the story of the Lunar Estate. I hope you've enjoyed it, and there'll be another video coming out in the next few weeks. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>
Thank you.